Are you monkey, you okay? Well, it doesn't look like you're okay. But playtime's over. I have to do something important right now, okay? Okay, green monkey? I think you didn't hear me the first time. I said, playtime's over. Time's over, okay? Say hello to these guys. No, you look the other way. Here. I'm not. Okay, Green Monkey, I think it's time for you to go. Yes. Yes. <sighs> ah, hello, and good evening, fellow wanderers of the internet. Please come closer. Uh, not that close. That's much better. I think I know why you're here. You want me to tell you the story. Well, my friends, <laughs> this ain't no fairy tale. Okay, it ain't no fairy tale, mind you. It's filled with danger, action, thrill, wholesomeness, and even animation. And apparently my friend who stole my apple dish came up with it. You, you, you know, the with the long coat, the big tall hat. Yeah, him. That guy. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend did. Yes, it was me. I stole the apple dish. And what do you have to say for yourself? And I won't do it again, since the police are already outside waiting. Hurry up! I thought he was in jail. Eh, who cares? <laughs> now this particular story has changed an emotionally possessed man whose life has been corrupted by the harsh words of people who never really accepted him. Now isn't that disrespectful? The disrespect the world gets nowadays is just, it's just, it just discourages me, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> now when people get bullied or make fun of, the experience can change their point of view in life. The people around them or even themselves. And even worse, it can burst out all the negativity that's been swirling inside them this whole time. And that is what happened to this man. And, and we'll get to that later. But right now, we shall go to the beginning. Alright, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. I didn't mean it like that, I meant the beginning cool of the story. Thank you. No. I guess Green Monkey wants to hear about it too. Now it all begins in a town called Capital City. And most of all, involves a six-year-old little sheep named Baby Lamb.
What a beautiful day. A beautiful day? <sighs> to play a game with a ball. Did someone say play a game with a ball? Play a game with a ball? That's like my favorite kind of game. Can I play? Me too. Me three. Hey, no fair. I was gonna pick three. Well, you can. Pick four. That's a good number for you. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I know, I'll pick four. <laughs> okay, everyone gets to play. Okay, go along. It's over to you, Ricky. <laughs> hey, don't fail me now. But don't fail me now. Oh yeah, look at me. Look at them skills. <laughs> hey kids! If you're gonna play soccer, you should at least try to avoid destroying our garage. We just got remodeled. Oh, sorry Officer Mark. Yo Chief, could you maybe toss the ball back to us? All right. Thank you. Oh. 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 I guess this is why I don't play soccer. What? You, you, you call this soccer? I mean, Nobody's even playing against each other on teams, and there's no goalie or whatever, there's no free kick. You know, screw this, I'm out of here. Gee, what's his problem? If I didn't know any better, I'd say he was pregnant. <laughs> Where the hell is that coming from? Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Hello? <gasps> Ooh, they're coming! <laughs> Uh, I'll call you later. Wait, why do you have a phone for? Uh, hello, DoorDash? Oh, and uh, by the way, if you see a bunch of stuffed onions delivered at the door later on, you know who it's for. Okay, then. I say let's continue with our game. What the? Hey, where's my ball? Yeah, it was over here just a minute ago. I should know. I still have the bruises on my head to prove it. No ball means no game. What are we gonna do? Looking for something? Oh, hello. You wanna play with us? Do I wanna play? I just took your ball away from you without asking. Yeah, so? So, uh, shouldn't you be all scared and upset and crying or whatnot. No, I mean, if we lost our ball, we could just always get a new one. Yeah, just because we're childlike doesn't mean we're stupid. But, but, uh, come on, I committed a terrible crime. Don't you know who I am? Well, sure we know. I am the Dark Slayer. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my phone's flashlight is acting up. Shouldn't you be afraid of me or something? I mean, look at me. Don't I look menacing? Yeah, maybe if you were shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Bill, this is... <laughs> it just ended this man's career. Remind me again, how is this supposed to be funny? <sighs> look, Mr. Dark Slayer. Just because you may look evil, doesn't always mean that you are evil. I know that! You think I don't know that? You think I have a brain the size of a grain of sand? Well, I don't! I'm just saying. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You think I have what it takes to be a villain. Well, have you know, I have done my fair share of crimes, misdeeds, and all things uncured in order for me to be a real villain. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you do? Well, I drink milk straight from the carton. Okay. I ring the doorbell of the neighbors' houses and then run away before they even open it. And? I even say the N-word. 
Yeah, so? Without an Edward Pass. <gasps> oh my god, he really is evil! <sighs> that proves nothing. Face it, Dark Slayer. I don't even think you are a real villain. Well, what do you know about being real? Well, I know that we're real. We can talk, we can move, we can do stuff. Yeah, it's not like we're cartoon characters. Point is, you suck at being a villain. How dare you? Oh, so sorry that the truth hurts. But unless you actually commit something that causes mass chaos, or if you actually succeed in trying to take over the world or something, or rule people with an iron fist, you're just a freaking pathetic villain. I have worked a very long time to try and get what I want. This is my only way of getting what I want. But someday, someday, you pathetic creatures, I will rule the world. I will make this town into something in my image. And you are going to eat those words. You'll see. You'll all see! <laughs> uh, is that the Dark Slayer over there that you guys were talking to? If by him you mean America's worst villain ever? The villain number zero, then yes. Well, you really pissed him off. We can't help it. He's just no good at being a villain. Yeah, I don't really understand. Cal, you never understand anything. I know. But I agree. I mean, why is the Dark Slayer so... so devoted to living a life of... evilness, villainy, and... Hatred. Well, I think it's time you guys uh, knew the story of the Dark Slayer. Story? What story? Well, I have a feeling this will explain to you why he's, you know, the person he is today. All right, I'll bite. I am a sucker for a good bedtime story. All right. So it begins around like. I don't know, about 30 something years ago. A long, long time ago. Believe it or not, the Dark Slayer and I were really good friends. Best friends, mind you. Like SpongeBob and Patrick, uh, Finn and Jake, uh, Rick and Morty. Hey, have you even seen Rick and Morty? Nope. Now shut up, I'm trying to tell a story. It was a long time ago. Back then, the Dark Slayer and I were pretty much uh, inseparable best friends. But all that changed that summer of 86 when we both went to camp. Okay, maybe the camp didn't look like this, but still, we were both placed in separate cabinets. Only was enough kids, so I got to be with all the other kids. And Dark Slayer, well, he was left by himself. I got along with the kids very well, because you know I'm like awesome, strong, and handsome. But the Dark Slayer, he was fat, ugly, and had terrible hairstyle. Throughout camp, all of the kids made fun of him, called him fat, ugly, creep, and all other type of derogatory words that kids would say nowadays. He spent most of camp by himself. I felt bad for him. So one night, I came to check up on him. Then I noticed he was just sitting by himself, unsurprisingly, only with an evil look on his face. I took a closer look. He was coming up with an evil plan to kill all the kids. I, I was so shocked. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't let me. All that evilness got into his head. I jumped out the window, ran away from camp, and I haven't heard from him in a long time. He spent the remainder of his childhood and all throughout adulthood plotting and coming up with evil ways to get revenge on the people 
who never respected him and liked him as he is. The end. <laughs> now tell us the story of the three little wolves who went to the pig's house and he chopped off his head with a giant beanstalk and lived happily ever after. Wow. No wonder he's so evil. Who knew so much bullying can traumatize a person? And what's worse is that all that hatred directed towards him led him to live a life of hatred towards other people. Now see, you kids are lucky because you're obviously likable people. But the Dark Slayer, he was, well, he wasn't, he wasn't very lucky. I tried to stop him, but it was too late. Now what I don't get is, if he was spending so much time coming up with this big evil revenge plot, how come nothing has happened yet? Simple. He sucks at being a villain. I mean, come on. If he really was serious about this, we'd all be dead by now or something. I don't think you guys have anything to worry about. You saw his pathetic attempts at trying to be evil, taking her ball, all that stuff. It's just a load of baloney. What if he's really serious about this, uncle? What if he's waiting a very long time on purpose? Well, my guess would be He's most likely waiting for the right moment to carry out his evil plan. And if we're misfortunate, it could mean the end of the world and the end of Capital City as we know it. Stay up too late at the school night. Mom, can't you see I am trying to come up with an evil revenge plot that might result in a lot of people getting killed? Okay, sweetie, but be careful. <sighs> Yes, sir. Why do I exist? Uh, well... That's not important right now. I am not in a good mood. Correct me if I'm wrong, sir, but with all due respect, you're never in a good mood. Precisely. But this time, I'm really, really peeved. Um, what for? Everyone keeps thinking that I'm not a real villain. Why can't they see? I wear my good boots, I got my cape on. But they just can't see it. How could they not? Haven't I done a lot of evil stuff to them? Jonathan, do me a favor and recap all of my evilest moments so far. Let's see. Well, there was the time you ruined Baby Lamps' Thanksgiving speech. I just want to say that it's really nice that you all took the time out of your busy schedules to gather here together to celebrate this wonderful holiday together. And know that even though things Keep it together. Be a very hectic time of Keep year, it together. The fact that no matter how freaking boring it means it all in the end. And Thanksgiving is a lot more than just. <sighs> It's a lot more than just food. It's also about oh. family. And, and also that I just really think it's oh. nice to... That, uh, you know what? Let's just eat. Oh, thank you! Well, I thought his speech was quite wonderful. <laughs> it was very boring, wasn't it? I'd have to agree. And there was also the time you stole Kalos' lunch. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible! A plate should never be on the edge of the table. It could fall, and I can't afford to buy another plate. 
Oh my god! What happened to my food? Best ham sandwich I have ever tasted. And you also took Ricky's money. Ah, my wallet that I conveniently placed right out in the open so nobody could steal it. I'm gonna get some uh, money here. Oh wait, my money just got stolen. Oh well, back to the bank. It was worth spending 25 bucks on candy. It's like taking candy from a dog. Uh, not to sound like I'm questioning your authority, sir, but I don't think all those things you did before aren't really evil. Not evil? Are you sure you're not questioning my authority? Are you? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Don't forget who brought you here from the orphanage that you came from. I raised you like a son. I made you respect me. No, I made you worship me. You do not try to question what I do around here. Do you get it? Y yes, sir. But what were you trying to say? Well, sir, if you really want to be a villain, you need to do more than just taking stuff from people. You need to have a really big plot to take over the city and rule over everyone who lives here. Funny you should mention that. Ever since my childhood, I have been devising with a revenge plot. A plot so evil, so awesome, it will create a world. Where people will look up to me for respect instead of the other way around. For years I've put up with. Oh, Dark Slayer, you're not a real villain. You're just being another pathetic, whiny loser living in your mom's basement. Well, not anymore. Now it's my time to shine. Soon, all of Capital City will be mine. I cannot wait for that to happen. <laughs> Especially Baby Lamb and all of his friends. They think they're so hot, so popular. What do I see to that? <sighs> Fooling on them. I've had it with this dreaded town. I'm living in a world that I do not want to live in. I've had it. For 26 years I've been devising. I've been coming up with the greatest revenge plot I could ever think of. But now I think it's time I put my plan into action. But how? Maybe first you need weapons, sir. Shut up, I'm trying to think. Weapons! Oh, yes! Oh, Dark Slayer, you are quite the genius. But where are you gonna get weapons, sir? That's a good question, Jonathan. I'll have to travel to the darkest, most sinister corner of Capital City to get the evilest, vilest, most destructive weapons ever known to mankind. Hello there, welcome to Evil Store where we have evil things and many more. How can I help you, Sonny? Well, I would like to buy something very evil here. Uh, of course you do, sir. Uh, otherwise, we'd be sued for false advertising. <laughs> okay, so what do you suggest? The store's most popular item is on sale now. That over there is an Infinity Gauntlet. You wear it, collect all six infinity stones, and half the universe is eradicated. Eradicated just at the snap of a finger. I mean, literally, you have to snap your finger in order to make it work. Hmm. Interesting. Are there any limitations? Yeah, there are some limitations. First and foremost, there is a lot of gray area and exactly where Captain Universe is going to be erased and who is spared. Side effects also include head trauma and fourth degree burns. Fourth degree burns? Yep, they're much worse than third degree burns. Heck, they're even worse than Mr. Burns. You know, Smithers, I think I'll donate a million dollars to the local orphanage. When pigs fly, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. You see, I want to start by taking over a town. Then I'll focus on taking over the rest of the world. And when I make a run, the Omnitrix. It has the DNA of over a million aliens, and they're all very powerful in their own unique way. Look. I just want something that lacks limitation, is very powerful, and for the most part, keeps me handsome. And I suggest you get a mirror. <laughs> Listen, I did not come in here to play games. Now, do me a big fat favor and give me the evilest thing you have in the store. The most powerful weapon known to man. That is what I want. Okay. I think I have one more item in this store that might be what you're looking for. Behold, you stick a superiority. Are you kidding me? It just looks like an oversized pen. What's a writing utensil got to be so powerful for? Do not be fooled by its commonplace appearance. Like so many things in life, it is not what's outside but inside that matters. The power within. The power within. You see, once you hold the stick of superiority, you instantaneously become the most powerful villain in all of mankind. You can use it to summon armies, destroy towns and cities, and possibly create mad genocide. So basically, I have all of the power in the world, just this stick? Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's interesting, you may, you may be selling evil stuff to people, but you don't seem evil yourself. What gives? Well, to be honest, I don't really condone all this evil stuff with the weapons and the killing and the destruction and all of that. Really, I want to be a late night talk show host. Really? Then what are you doing here? Well, I gotta start somewhere. I need to start at the bottom in order to get myself all the way up to the top. I have a purpose to fulfill. I feel like somebody has told me this before. Okay. I'm taking a stick, and it's mine now. Oh wait! Sir, you forgot to pay You should have uh, warned them that uh, that cost him uh, $578.96 plus uh, taxes. What the Dark Slayer is going to do to us? What if he forces everyone to wear pink? What if he bans recess and makes us do boring math homework 24 7? What if he eradicates food? Oh my god, baby lamb. I can't live without food. I know, I know. Look, maybe we're just looking towards the future a bit too far. Maybe it would be much calmer if we just take this one day at a time. Yeah, but what if he really does destroy the world? I don't want to lose the world, baby lamb. <laughs> hey, if you guys aren't too busy having a panic attack, there's a karaoke party happening over there. We were kind of hoping you guys can come or whatever. Hmm, karaoke party? Hey! That sounds like a great idea. Maybe it can help take our minds off this whole Dark Slayer thing. Alright, let's go. Man, this is some party. What do I see occasion for? No occasion, my dude. Just an excuse to party. Hey, let's get see up front. Wait! Okay, that was amazing. What is you amazing, ladies and gentlemen? All right, now see if everyone else wants to take the stage. Hey, hey, maybe that. Maybe you should go up on stage and sing. What? No, I'll sing in front of other people. Come on, 
I heard you sing in the shower many times before. That's completely different. No one? Dude, and I thought I was speechless. Ah, uh, I am Baby Lamb, and I would like to go up on stage. Cow! Ah, very nice of you to volunteer, Baby Lamb. Get up on, get on up here. Cow, I don't want to do this. Look, you'll be great. Oh, good. All right, Baby Lamb. Uh, you know what song you're going to sing? Oh, um, yeah. I guess. Could it be a slow song? Well, sure, why not? It's you I like It's not the things you wear it's not the way you do your hair, but it's you I like. The way you are right now, the way down deep inside you, not the things that hide you, not your toes. They're just beside you But it's you I like Every part of you Your skin, your eyes, your feelings Whether old or new I think you were skeptical about singing in front of a bunch of people in the first place. Wait, how did you know? Dude, I knew it was Cal pretending to be you. His impression of you was stupid. Yeah, sorry. Well, thanks guys, but... Ugh, it's starting to get past my bedtime, I better go. Oh, come on, the night's still young. Can't you just stay a little longer? But... Yeah, be love and besides, the more fun we have here, the less you gotta worry about Alright, I'm sure it won't be that bad. It's the end of the world as we know it! Everybody wants to rule the world! Die, die, die! Die, die, die! It's Marvin time! Everyone die, die, die! Uh, I gotta go! Wait, baby lamb! Was it something he ate? <laughs> baby Lim, Baby Lim. Yeah, Cal? Everyone missed you at the party. What are you doing here? Well, I just couldn't help but think about what the Dark Slayer said. I mean, he sounded so serious. I can't but feel bad for him. All that bullying corrupted him into becoming the person he is today. If he's spending so much time coming up with his big revenge plot, then it's really going to be something big and bad for all of us. I mean, what would this mean for Capital City? For us? I don't want to lose my friends. <laughs> oh, baby lamb. 
I don't think there's anything to worry about. See, if he really was serious about his old revenge plot and trying to destroy the world, we'd all be dead by now. Gee, thanks. But look, he's just a little man lost in a great big world. Look around you, baby lamb. Out there is a world filled with opportunity. The possibilities are limitless. And you know what you should do once opportunity knocks? Mm, check to see if they're Jehovah's Witnesses? No, it, oh, yes, but you open it. See, I don't think anything bad's ever gonna happen to us. He's just saying that just to make us scared. <laughs> but we're not scared, right? I guess, but, well, I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, baby lamb, you're six years old, and yet you have the nerves of a hormonally imbalanced teenager. Uh, okay. Listen, no matter what, we're always going to be here for each other. We always have our backs. If anything stands in the way between us and happiness, then we'll be there to kick its butt. Thanks, Cal. You know I feel much better. My pleasure, baby lamb. Come on, let's go back inside. Hey, what about that rock? I don't know what the hell is doing there. So, Uncle, are you sure that the Dark Slayer isn't, re isn't really going to try and take over Capital City and kill us all? Well, as sure as fish can walk. Uncle. Oh, seriously, baby lamb. You really got nothing to worry about in terms of that to creepy fat loser. I mean, like Cal said, we all have each other, and nothing stands in the way between us and prosperity as long as we stick together. Through the thick and thin, through and through. Does that make you feel better? Yeah, kind of. I'm glad. You really don't have anything to worry about. Now go to sleep. You've had quite a busy day. Thanks, Uncle. No homo. I need some sleep. Time to put the old horse down. Singing. I'm in too deep. And my wheels keep spinning around. Everyone's fast. Getting down to the low Everyone says You just gotta let it go You just gotta let it go You just gotta let it go Guys, can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Oh, sorry baby lamb Yeah, we we're just trying to lighten the mood yeah, I mean, you're pretty shaken up back there. Something alright? Look, everything's fine, we got nothing to worry about. Now, can't we just worry about this tomorrow morning? Jeez! I think we should get the heck out of here. I agree. You can fly a hot air balloon Take a spaceship to the moon But there's nothing quite as sweet as when you sleep it's in your bedroom, just past your pillow. Close your eyes now, watch the clouds billow. You're flying on air. Turn the corner and you'll be there. Next stop, Dreamland. You can go anytime, Dreamland. With your jammies on, you'll be fine. Let your dreams take away your fear You know I'll always be near Right here in Dreamland Dreams are a wishing well In Dreamland, make a wish you can never tell There's a light in your mind Turn it on and you'll be fine Right here in Dreamland Right here in Dreamland. What the? The garage isn't fixed? What gives? Look, 
officer, Mark. With all due respect, we're police officers, not construction workers. Jonathan! Oh, y yes, sir. What's new? Well, take a look at this special weapon I got for the evil... Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, deepest, darkest part of Capital City. Behold! The stick of superiority. Looks more like a pencil to me. Ah, don't you know it's what's inside that counts the power within? With this, I can finally fulfill my desire to carry out my revenge plot and prove to everyone that I am the powerful one. Uh, okay, but why aren't we inside your evil lair? <sighs> the stupid fumigators invaded my lair. Well, according to my research, this lair hasn't really been cleaned in like, I don't know, 27 years? Geez, you really need help. You will be seeing that once I rule this town. So what does the stick up superiority do? Oh, it can be lots, my little one. It can do so much. The, the, the clerk at the evil store says that I can summon armies, destroy towns, commit genocide. Genocide? You know what? I, I know I'm definitely not going to carry out this revenge plot all, my, all by myself. I shall summon an army! What the? Nobody's coming. What gives? Uh, sir, I, th I think you got the demo version. The demo version? How could this be? I- Oh yeah, I left the store without pain. What are you gonna do? I <sighs> guess I'm gonna have to summon armies the old-fashioned way. There. If that doesn't appease to the general public, I don't know what will. With all due respect, sir, why don't you just hire some minions? I heard they're very good with weapons. Are you kidding me, Jonathan? Do you really think I want a bunch of yellow commercialized Tic Tacs running rampantly around the neighborhood? Tell me, Jonathan, do you have a better idea of how to assemble an evil army? Um, not really. Of course you don't. Because you're just a lonely servant. Now do me a favor, and help put these other signs around Capital City. Alright, right away, sir. Oh, and, uh, Jonathan? Yes, sir? Uh, bring me some laxatives. I really have to go. Okay. <laughs> Baby Lamb, his uncle. And all of his stupid friends think that I'm not serious when I told him about my plan. But they will soon know. Once I have an army ready to attack this cursed town, so I can rule with an iron fist. <laughs> Jonathan, where are the laxatives? Good as new. It goes to show that if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Oh. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, uh, hey, Patricia. Not used to seeing you here at this time of night. Uh, what you've been up to? I was just gonna go for the nightly stroll around the neighborhood. Wanna join? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, uh, of course I would. Uh, what the? Evil. Army for hire? Wow, that sounds pretty serious, huh? Yeah, but look, it says Dark Slayer on it. And as far as I'm concerned, everyone in Capital City knows that Dark Slayer is the most pathetic villain in the Tri-State area. I suppose so, but then again, it looks like he has some kind of a plan up his sleeve. Trust me, Patricia, whatever it is, it's probably just gonna be for some stupid reason. Now come on, let's go for that walk. What the? 
Hey guys, look! A flyer! A flyer? <laughs> can I read it, baby love? Can I, can I, can I? Well, no, nobody says he can, Cal, sure. Alright! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <sighs> Let me do this. Okay, let's see. Evil army for hire. Must be loyal, smart, and uh, evil. Drop by Dark Slayer's Lair. 420, 69th Street, Capital City. Oh, and uh, there's some extra writing down there, but I can't really make out the words. Donnie, you never told me you were in a relationship with the words. What? I never said that, but you said you can't make out the words. Well, yes, but... I hate you. Jeez, Cal. Don't you know how to read? Yes, I know how to read, AP. It's just that I don't read stuff that I don't get. Ooh! 20% off of round table pizza! <laughs> Is that supposed to be some kind of product placement or something? Okay, so apparently the Dark Slayer is forming some sort of a super villain bad guy team. Wow, seems pretty serious. And all this time I thought he was just bluffing like he usually does. Tell me about it. Oh, uh, hey uncle! Wait, wait, who's that? Uh, I, I told you to hide the gun. Uh, oh, uh, hey, uh, baby lamb, uh, it's just you. Did you just say something about a gun? So, uh, how's my uh, favorite nephew doing? I'm, uh, doing alright, Uncle, except look up there. Huh? Oh, yeah. That. That wire tower. He's not talking about the wire tower. He's talking about the flyer attached to it. Okay, so evil army... Oh, crap. What's wrong, Uncle? Well, he really is serious. All this time, you thought he was bluffing? Exactly. See, he always threatens that he's actually he's going to try and destroy the town and, and kill us all and that type of stuff, but apparently he's actually serious. Don't you know that once he assembles an evil army, he's actually going to be powerful, somewhat. But I thought you considered your ex-best friend to be predictable and stuff, since he's like, you know, a terrible villain. That was before I found out that he was actually going to, you know, summon an army. Oh, come on, Uncle. Now, now you're the one being nervous, and I'm the one who's thinking that it's not really going to happen? <laughs> well, I guess if you want to trust your instincts, sir, go ahead. Maybe, I mean, you know what? You're right, actually, Baby Lamb. I mean, besides, there aren't any other people who are so devoted to being evil here in Capital City, so I don't think we should have anything to worry about. But uh, just in case, let's uh, get, we should probably just uh, get rid of this stupid sign, uh, fly or whatever. Uh, that's going to be a problem. What do you mean? Because he put up flyers all over the town. Uh, you know what? Maybe we can just leave. I highly doubt Amos actually going to respond to them. Oh, who could be interrupting me at this time of day? Let's see. What's here? Oh, uh, treat or trick. Well, I don't happen to have any candy at the moment. Because I already ate it. <laughs> no, we're not here to get candy. Wait, we're not? We came because we saw your flyer. Apparently you're looking for an evil army for hire. And we were hoping that we would be the right people for the job. Oh, seriously? I said if you are me, I thought there would be a lot more of you. But it looks to me like you're the only people in Capital City besides me. Who are also devoted into villainy. Uh, actually, this was my Halloween costume from last year, but I forgot to take it off. So yeah, hmm, I see. 
Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Everyone come inside. Does this mean we're not getting candy? No recruits. I welcome you to my lair. Ooh, not too shabby. Sir, what did you do with the place? Well, you see, Johnson, after the lair was uh, fumigated, I hired some very skilled renovators and told them that I would pay them seven million dollars if they were to make this place look like an authentic lair. Only, <laughs> I kidnapped them and I never paid them seven million dollars. Mostly because I don't really have seven million dollars. But still, I gotta make a good first impression. Besides, from the looks on their faces, I can tell that they think this slayer is really terrible. I mean, look at this place. It's just a lair of the Count's castle. It's all rustic and decrepit. And if this is a lair, then where the hell are the machines? The buttons, the weapons, the arsenal? Well, that's where you guys come in. You see, I hired you to be part of, this, a part of my very evil army. Together, we shall take control of Capital City and make what is my uh, arms. But before we get into that, I need to know exactly who you are and what your special ability is that makes you villainy. Uh, don't you mean villainous? I know what I said! You there, Albert Einstein wannabe. What's your specialty? My name is Professor Flatten, and I'm not much of a villain per se. But upon years of research and studies at the Capital City State University, I've managed to give myself the ability to tamper with the fabric of space and time. And I can also alter the forces of nature at will. Excellent! Then you'll be very useful for this plot I had in mind. And what about you, Discount Gordon Ramsay? Well, you see, my name is Gerald Frankson, and I may not consider myself that much of a villain either, but I do have the ability to make some killer food. Emphasis on killer. So your food is like a stomach bomb or something? Oh yes, it gives people diarrhea, gonorrhea, salmonella, you name it. I don't know, I don't think food should play a role in my destiny plan. But maybe you can cater us. What? You're telling me that he has that we have to eat the crap that he eats now? Well what can you do? I am the Dominator! Da, da, da. But what can you do? Uh, I can burp. Uh, yes. And what about you? Guy who kinda looks like Scrooge McDuck, but not really. If you must know. My name is Osiris, and I'm not really a villain, but I do strive to help amateur villains like yourself improve, so that they can become very skilled masterminds. What? Amateur? What are you talking about? Yes, well for one thing, your lair is lacking some villainy. You're not making a very good first impression as you may think otherwise. And your costume, what are you supposed to be? A mixture of Leslie Newtman, Bella Lugosi, and Kanye West? Hey. I only sent out those flyers to get an army, not to get criticism. I'm just spitting facts, Mr. Darkslayer. All villains and every other person in the world need constructive criticism in order to improve. Seriously, you, for one, really need the criticism. Otherwise, you'll suck as a villain. Well, that was a little harsh, wasn't it? Nobody, and I mean nobody tells me what to do or what not to do. I was the one who recruited all of you for whatever your lives were, but I'm pretty sure you were treated as nobodies, like I was. How much you ever wanted to just live a normal life? To be happy with yourself, but nobody treated you the same as they treated everyone else? Like they don't care about you? Like you don't really matter? I'm sure you've felt that way before. Or maybe I can help you become a somebody. Because with your genius, your cooking, your criticism, and your... Actually, I have no idea what the hell you do. 
and my awesomeness, and I guess Jonathan as well, there is a chance that we will create from this town a world. That way we can be in control. And we don't have to worry about what other people think. Okay, okay, enough with the sappy talk. What exactly do you want us to do? First, we must send out like a super evil signal in the sky. Something that indicates that darkness is going to fall and rain on Capital City. What do you have in mind? I suppose I could construct a machine that could make the clouds, as well as the sky, a very dark and ominous shade of red. Why red? It should be green. I always wanted to see the sky green. Too bad. We're going with red. Anything else? Well, as cliche as it sounds, but with our combined efforts, we shall construct powerful machines that can shoot missiles, lasers and stuff. For once, I actually like what you're saying. Hey, my cookie is pretty powerful. We can use it to power on the machines. Ha! Ah, perfect! Hey, what can I do? Give me a hot dog. Do you want me to put mustard on that? Well, it's not gonna put mustard on itself. Now get busy! I know you've properly introduced yourself to us, but who exactly is that kid? Oh, him? <laughs> That's just my uh, useless assistant, uh, Jonathan. But don't worry, he's not a kid. Uh, he just has uh, dwarfism. Yeah, he's a uh, modern day Peter Dinklage. That's cold. Hey, I try. Wait, I want to participate too. Alright, maybe you could, uh, I don't know, terrorize some people. Yes. Oh, also. I might need someone to construct a machine to fly so I can make my grand entrance once my plan finally unfolds. Not a problem. Alright then, now that we got the plan all figured out, the question is, when exactly are we going to do it? Hmm. Well, we might have to pull an all-nighter, but I was hoping maybe tomorrow night. Hmm, sounds pretty logical. I'm sort of an expert at constructing machines very fast. And I already have plenty of leftovers. Excellent. Now they'll see who's the real villain here. <laughs> ah, stupid sore throat. Okay, you really need to improve on your evil laugh. Shut up. Another beautiful day. No worries, no rules, no responsibilities. Nah, can't it be summer break? No school! Oh, I'm just so excited. Oh, I can't get lots of fun and... Where are cows at? Where are you, you have? Oh! <laughs> hey, cow. Hey, little Kathy. So, uh, what you guys doing? Oh, we're playing a game. It's called Big Trolley, Little Trolley. Oh, uh, how do you play it? Well, basically, one person rides on the big trolley, and the other person rides in the little trolley, and the, the, that's, that's pretty much it. Hmm. I can see it's uh, pretty self-explanatory who's going to be riding where. Oh yeah, we already decided. some game. Hey, uh, baby lamb, I gotta ask you something. What is it, Donnie? Uh, by any chance, do you know where Ricky is? See, he and I are supposed to go uh, highway fishing today. Highway fishing? Yeah, it's it's a lot like a street fishing, only more dangerous. How can you even consider fishing? You're like a dolphin. Wouldn't that be like betrayal to your own kind or something? <laughs> Excuse me, it's called fishing, not dolphining. Besides, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, being Lamb. Oh, well, I haven't seen him today. Maybe he's uh, waiting for his mail or something. Waiting for his mail, you say? Or maybe the Dark Slayer already kidnapped him. <laughs> Guys, that's not funny. Oh, relax, Baby Lamb. We were just kidding around. And besides, I don't think that guy's gonna bother us anytime soon. Yeah, you do have a good point. I mean, 
I haven't heard from him ever since he threatened that, uh, you know, he's gonna take over this town. But just to be on the safe side, he can still move to Kansas. Hey, beat him up, beat him up. Yeah, Bill? Yeah, me, Jax? Okay, this is driving us crazy. Yeah, okay, so who would win in a fight? Shaggy, using only 0.1% of his powers, or Ed, with a pebble in his shoe? Well... Ed, well, technically, Ed would become, like, more powerful with the pebble in the shoe, but without the shoe, he's able to lift an entire house without a sweat, and he can even eat his own bed. So I'm guessing Ed. Ha! I knew it! You owe me 50 bucks. All right. That was weird. You know, I'm gonna go get the mail myself. Alright, catch you guys later. Gonna get the mail. What the? Ricky! What the heck are you doing here? Are you sleeping here? No. I ordered a new DVD of Doghouse Rock. It has a special song about sniffing butts. You're sick. I know. And also, isn't Doghouse Rock for like little kids? I don't care. Ever heard of nostalgia? Well, alright, but I need to get but I need to get my mail. You can do that after I'm done, after I get my package. Well, do you mind? All right. Come to think of it, it is starting to get a bit cramped in here. <sighs> All right. <sighs> hmm. What a perfectly sunshiny day. The sun is out. The birds are tweeting. <laughs> They're the OG Twitter. <laughs> The clouds are becoming red. Wait, what? Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I don't think clouds are supposed to be red. Wait, did you just say clouds are becoming red? Uh, yeah, can't you tell? <gasps> oh boy, that Oh god, that can only mean one thing. What? Dark Slayer's reign of terror is is just beginning. Come on, I better go back inside and be safe. Jeez, what's going on? Did you see Baby Lamb? The sky literally just turned red. Oh. Uh, are you sure it's not some kind of, like, harvest moon or something? Harvest moon? In summer? Open your eyes, cow! <laughs> Greetings, peasants! The Dark Slayer? You all thought I was joking huh, when I told you that one day I'm going to take over this town and rule with a fist. You all thought I was bluffing. Well, say hello to my little friend. A giant oversized pen? No, it's not a giant oversized pen. Yeah, it kinda looks more like a giant pen to me. I just said it's not a giant oversized pen. It is the stick of superiority. Watch as I demonstrate his awesome ability. That's one, one blast. That's two, two blasts. That's three, three blasts. Ah, 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 ah. Count, is this really the right time for you to count? I cannot help it. Count things what I do. And now for my next trick. Ah! What the? Oh, I forgot I'm using the demo version of the stick of superiority. Now that's a bad take. Oh, whatever. And if you thought I was bluffing when I sent out those flyers for an evil army, oh, you are sorely mistaken. Meet Professor Flatten, Gerald Frankson. Osiris, the Dominator. Don't forget me, sir. Yeah, sure, we'll pretend you matter. 
So yeah, with our combined efforts, as well as my awesomeness, we will rule this town and control you all. <laughs> So, without further ado... Ah! Ah! The sweet smell of terrorism. Uh, hey boss, look, I got a couple of mice here. Maybe we could get jobs as exterminators once we're done. You know what? You should probably just stick to terrorizing people. Right away! Guys, follow me. Then I know a safe place. Oh crap, it's dark in here. Don't worry, my phone has a flashlight. Oh, way to go, cow. Now people will see us. I don't worry. They'll never attack anyone who's cornered. So, what the heck is going on, Uncle? I mean, is this really happening? Is this, like, not a dream? Hmm, is it time to start pinching people? No, 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 no. Look, I hate to admit it, but I think we underestimated the Dark Slayer. This is exactly what I was worried about. Because of him, and the combined efforts of him and a bunch of other supervillain masterminds in Capital City, well, amateurs, at best, or whatever, they're becoming powerful. Or there's one thing I don't understand. Why the hell aren't the police doing anything about it? Like, what are they doing right now? Wow. Okay, can we watch something else? Word on the street is the Dark Slayer plans to capture and execute his main targets. A black lamb, a brown cow, a yellow butterfly, a purple caterpillar, a blue dolphin, and a red dog. Oh, that could be any black lamb, brown cow, yellow butterfly, purple caterpillar, blue dolphin, and red dog. <clears throat> nope, he's definitely referring to you guys. Ugh. How's this for being a whiny pathetic loser who lives in his mom's basement? <laughs> the garage survived this. Oops, I almost forgot something. No! Alright you sniveling creatures, you better come out there or else we'll use brutal force. Frankson? Let me do it! Yay, I'm participating! I thought you were supposed to be terrorizing people! Oh yeah! <laughs> this is getting very intense! You think? I just hope Kathy's safe! Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. You're mine now! <laughs> Go. Right here, Lemmy. <laughs> what the? Let go of my uncle! Yeah, seriously, dude, your hands are like really sweaty. What the? How is that even possible? I'm wearing gloves. Well, they should probably switch from latex to leather. Okay, seriously. How could you, of all people, be kidnapped? Well, Alphabet Pal, it ain't pretty. He tempted me with fried chili cheese dogs. We've known each other since we were kids. He knows I'm very addicted to them. Oh yes. And I got something very special for you, plan, lamb old friend. 
You're gonna let that punk steal your uncle from you, baby lamb. Heck no! Give it back to me! Oh boy, ja! I got this! Stand back, guys, and maybe cover your nose. Cover our noses? What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> You clouds think you're doing sleeping on the job. I don't think you've prepared us long enough. You've made us pull an all-nighter. Yes, and all the machines stopped working, probably because Frankson's cooking isn't long-lasting fuel. Hey, I can't help it. That's just how I cook. Oh, whatever, that doesn't matter. Say bye-bye to your precious uncle, baby lamb. Run, save yourselves. Get away from here. It's too risky. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, shut up. All this caring makes me sick. Into the bag of the kidnapped. You know, because I kidnapped people. <laughs> yeah, I'll find a, a better place to put them. Now I'll go for now. No! Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. I did it! I did it! I've waited 26 years. I finally did. This day belongs to Weaver. I finally did. Hey! What about us? We contributed too, you know. Oh, oh, oh yes, of course, of course. Uh, thanks again. So, what are you going to do with those kits? Oh, them. Didn't that Canadian redhead on TV say you were going to capture and execute them? Oh, that? That was just to, you know, scare them. That's the way they can flee from Capital City, never to be seen again. That way they won't stop me or humiliate me from finally getting what I want. Don't you think we should clean up the mess over there? What mess? Villains do not clean up. That is a reminder of my triumphant victory. What about me, sir? You? I don't need you anymore. What? You heard me. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you hardly contributed to anything that's part of my big master plan. What about those flyers? Oh, those flyers? The reason I put them out is because I'm looking for people who can do a much better job than you ever can. Don't you realize that all this time you've done practically nothing? But... you adopted me. Well, I can unadopt you. Now why don't you do everyone a big fat favor and go back to that family that you've never had? Now! <sighs> okay. Oh, finally. Some dead weight. You know, I know supervillains aren't usually knights, but even they have their limits. Except for Hitler, but he's different. What are you talking about, Osiris? We witnessed the way you treated that kid, Jonathan. I told you, he had dwarfism. <laughs> dwarfism, my ass. We're not stupid. Your flyer did request people who are smart. In addition, after examining at the minuscule red words on your flyer, it turns out you hired us to work for you for no extra pay. And frankly, that's just plain evil, even by your standards. I think what separates you from the other villains is your complete lack of care. You've wanted to create a world where people will respect you, but if that's the way you treat others, then no one would treat you the same. Hell. Even Thanos was kind towards children, and he killed half of the universe with one snap. Seriously, you're not just evil. You're just messed up. But you didn't seem to care when everyone else was attacked and stuff. What made you change your point of view? I think we all found out what we've been doing was wrong the whole time. And it only took us now to realize it. We all have our special talents. Well, except for him, 
but it's better for us to use them for the greater good of humanity. We want to change the world for the better. We want to change the world for the better. Then why did you accept the flyers? We've never experienced true evil in our lives until now. The question is, why are you so devoted to being evil? <sighs> People bullied me when I was a kid. Nobody ever liked me. They judged me before they even got to know me. I was fed up with all the words people say about me that I realized, no, someday I'm going to make them all regret what they said about me. I figured that by being evil, I will finally get my way. Hey, we all used to think we were nobodies. But we all have purposes in life. But you're not looking for the right purpose. I hope you've realized what you've done. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Well, fine. I don't need you. I got this whole town all to myself. And that's pretty much all I want. I told you I could rule everyone with an iron fist. And I will. Uh, oh, wait. I kidnapped everyone. Well, at least I still have the stick of superiority. Uh, where is it? Aha! Here it is. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot. I still have the demo version. Dang it! Man. Never really thought through with this plan, have I? I thought it might be fun, but I guess it isn't. I thought it would be fun to finally get control of a multitude of people. How come I just don't feel good? I actually feel bad. But not the good kind of bad, the bad kind of bad. Okay, is everyone all right? I'm okay. Me too. Me three? Hey, no fair, I was gonna pick three. I'm not okay. You're not? What happened, Cal? No, I mean, I'm not okay. I'm Cal. Seriously, you guys are my friends. You should know that. Guys, I hate to admit it, but I think we underestimated the Dark Slayer. Yes, think, Belle? He kidnapped my uncle. He kidnapped Kathy, my sweet, sweet Kathy. So, what exactly are we supposed to do now? I mean, we can't just stay outside here forever, as if we're like banished or something. But the only reasonable solution is to fight hate with hate. Simple science. Yeah, hello! He kidnapped your uncle and Cal's brother! Yes, but I'm sure there is a much more civil solution. I don't know about you guys, but I am tired. I think I really need to hit the hay. Can we talk about this tomorrow morning? Only one question. Where the hell are we going to sleep? Hmm. Hey, how about here? You know, I always want an excuse to camp. You know, just lie down and sleep underneath the stars. Oh, yeah. And there's that really, really big, white, round star right up there in the night sky. That's the moon, stupid. Oh. Look, I know we all had a rough day, but I'm sure things are going to get better after that. Trust me, just stay positive. <sighs> well, good night, everyone.
foghorn in our backyard? How is that possible? Ew, what's that smell? Ugh, cow! Sorry, baby lamb. I have one too many fajitas. Hmm. But boy, am I hungry. What are you to eat? <gasps> hey! Mmm. Hello, delicious. Come to Papa. Cal, don't eat that orange. You have no idea where it's been. <sighs> okay, Dad. Okay. Did everyone sleep good? <sighs> yeah, right. Phew, we survived the attack. Now we should go see how we're gonna survive saving the town. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah, the Dark Slayer has like an evil army and stuff. They got weapons. And we got nothing. Oh, well, I don't know about that. We have each other. Baby Lamb, this is not an episode of Barney and Friends. Love and forgiveness doesn't solve all your problems. If only we had something we could use against him. Well, there's a depressed kid over there. Hey. Oh. Hi. So, um, what are you doing here? I'm here because I feel like nobody loves me. Why do you say that? Wait a second. Aren't you that Jonathan kid? The one that works for the Dark Slayer as his assistant? Well, um, yes, but- Aha! Uh -huh. An accomplice! I'll take care of him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that? Cal, you can let go of him now. Ugh. I still got my eye on you. You guys don't understand. I used to work with him, but once he and his powerful army took over, he thinks I'm useless and doesn't want me anymore. Yeah, so what? He... Adopted me. Adopted you? So he was like a father to you? Yeah, but I guess all he did was abuse me. I didn't mind it at first because I thought it was awesome to have someone to take care of me. But he never said he loves me and now I know he means it. Oh, that's just awful, Jonathan. Oh, it really sucks when someone who is supposed to love you doesn't really love you. But he... You're more than welcome to join us. We were planning to, you know, save Capital City from the Dark Slayer and free everyone. Sounds pretty risky. Maybe I can join too. Hey, Elliot. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty all right. Uh, Cal, who's the guy? <laughs> oh, this is Elliot. He works at the Evil Store. The Evil Store? Yep, that's right, the evil store. But there's evil things and many more. All the best weapons and villain accessories money can buy. How do you even know about the evil store, Cal? You're not evil. Oh, I know that. They just have really delicious snacks in the vending machine. Seriously, have you tried the Doritos there? They're delicious. That's where the Dark Slayer got the stick of superiority. You're seriously telling us about it now? But, don't worry. It doesn't make him that powerful. When he blasts stuff three times, and after that, it's pretty much useless. The whole demo version thing is a scam. Wow, you scammed a villain. Way to go. Thanks, but I don't like deceiving people. I only did it because I decided it's time for me to stop helping bad people and instead help people who deserve it. I don't know, maybe you could try to help bad people. But instead of helping them become powerful, you can help them to become good. Oh, please, baby lamb. That's exactly what your uncle tried to do to help the Dark Slayer. But here we are now, and your uncle got kidnapped. Alright, so I'm guessing the eight of us have to band together to stop the Dark Slayer and save Capital City. Yeah, no one takes our town and gets away with it. Whatever the case may be, let's go. We got a city to save. And I've got an uncle to save. Don't forget my brother. Hello. What's this? Simon. Space-time fabric temperer.
property of Professor Flatten. And there's a letter next to it. Dear Dark Slayer, by the time you read this letter, you have already discovered my latest and greatest creation, the space-time fabric tamperer, capable of tampering with the fabric of space and time. But it was not by accident that I left it there. After hearing the horrible way you treated your adopted son, we knew it would be a mistake to work for someone like you, let alone support evil in general. Like you, we want to make the world better, but unlike you, we want to make the world better for everyone. That is our purpose. The reason I left the machine here is because we've learned bullying has traumatized your life. This will give you the advantage of traveling back to the past and creating the future you've always wanted. But you must be wise with how you use it or else the consequences will be devastating. You cannot run from the past, but you can fix it. That is, if you want to make the world better for others or for yourself, the choice is yours. I'm positive you will make the right decision. Sincerely, Professor Daniel Flatten, PhD. So this is supposed to work like some kind of time machine? Whoa. Maybe I could use it to take myself back in time to when I was a kid and to stop myself from getting bullied. Oh, that's too risky. I don't even know which one of these buttons sends me back through time. Maybe this one. What the? What the? Oh, 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 oh. Wait a second. Nothing's changed. Wait a second. This is the house from three years ago. And that's me over there. Harassing Winnie the Pooh? I can it, Bearface. That's not a very good uh, insult. Uh, let's see, uh, Fuzzy. Uh, I'll think of an insult later. But just stay there. If those pesky police officers come, then don't know who's boss around here. Me! Whoa. I guess I was pretty ugly back then. Wow. <sighs> it's not like the Dark Slayer to just disappear after finally accomplishing his dream of taking over Capital City. Did he really take over Capital City? All he did was kidnap everyone. So really, he have nobody to rule over. Not really a well thought out plan. Never really thought of it that way. But we're gonna find the Dark Slayer. And once we do, we're gonna kick his butt. You know, show him what's for. Are you sure it's a good idea though? Well, do you have a better idea? Well, hey guys, look! Over there! Looks like some fancy schmancy button thingy or something. What's this? Space time fabric temporary. Property of Professor Flatten. So I guess it's some sort of fancy time machine. You mean he actually went back in time? It could happen, really. I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't look like a like a time machine to me. It looks more like some fancy children's game. See? Baby Lamb! Hey, look. There's a lair. It's near a time machine. I hope it's not a suicide note or anything like that. Let's see. Oh, dang. <gasps> what the? Where am I? Hmm. Those tunes in the back do look strangely familiar. Especially that lamb in the middle. Is that... Me? But who are all those other people? Wow, you were right, Cypher. Blanche Boy and these super sounds are really making these tunes suffer. Okay, so apparently it looks like by pressing this button, it sends people back through time. And I guess in the Dark Slayer must have used it. That's why we can't see him anywhere. But what does this button do? What you need now is to play the locust. <laughs>
Oh. Oh. What the? What the hell am I? Oh god, I'm in that stupid Smurfs village. Oh, it's gonna be all happy and cult like and. What the? I don't remember this being in the show. Oh god, just get me out of here. Okay, so the green button makes people disappear, and the yellow button doesn't really do anything. How are we going to get them back? Ooh, try pressing the yellow button again. It must be jammed. Good idea, Cal. Uh, guys? No, you're not doing it right. See, you gotta do it like this. There, see? That's how a professional does it. Guys? What the? Huh? This looks a lot like my house. But everything looks so different. What are we gonna do, Cap? Huh? Baby Land, my friend, we have to take the Capital City Public Trolley. That's me? And Cal? There it is! She's even more beautiful than I imagined. Is that really how my voice sounded back then? <laughs> What's that? That! And the good news is, we don't have to see that scary Poppins again. <laughs> oh my god. I remember my first trolley ride. Hey look, here's a trolley captain. <laughs> Guess I never took the time to realize how I used to be a long time ago. Hey, Nick. Hey, baby lad. Um, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck am I? Why is everything all black and white? Ugh. People actually used to like this crap and find it entertaining. Oh God, kill me! <sighs> oh yeah, like you know so much about time traveling. Of course I do. I've watched all three Back to the Future movies. <sighs> See, I even got the hat to prove it. That hat proves nothing. Listen. Not now, AP. Yeah, can't you see I'm busy spinning facts into this dunderhead? Oh, I'm the dunderhead? Listen! What? If the green button send them their time, then the red button might bring them back. And your point is? Push the dang button! Okay, okay. No need to yell. I can make a promise. I can make a plan. I can make a difference I can take a stand I can make an effort If I only understand That I, I can make a change You can make a difference You can make it right you can make it better Thanks, Cal. I was only gone for like a couple minutes. You! Please, have mercy. Mercy is for the weak! Not a 
your evil army left you and the stick of superiority is useless, you're pretty much powerless against us. It's booty kicking time. Please, spare your energy. If you want to kill me, don't bother. I'll do it for you. Okay, I guess that's pretty good. Wait, what? You mean you're actually going to- And Jonathan, I'm really sorry for everything. I'm sorry I couldn't have been a better father to you. Instead, I made you like a slave. I'm sure someone else will take better care of you. I'll miss you. What does this mean? Did we win? Well, I don't know. Even if he has done something bad to us, we can't just let him end his life like that. We gotta help him. Wait a minute. Even after he kidnapped your uncle, the cow's brother, you still want to help him? Hey, sure he has done a lot of bad stuff to us yesterday. But it would also be a bad thing for us if we don't help someone who's trying to end his life. Everyone deserves to live. And maybe once they realize how important life is, they will change for the better. He was never a real villain. Really, he was just someone who was struggling to find himself. Maybe we can help with that. Sure, I may just be a little lamb. Sometimes, the little people like us can make a difference. Right now, we need to save someone from himself. Well, here goes nothing. Stop! Oh, would you just go away? Can't you see I'm trying to end myself for once? I've caused enough pain and suffering to so many people already. I thought it would make me feel good. I thought it would finally help me achieve my destiny, but I guess it turns out you will never feel good if you can't do good. That's right, but it doesn't have to be this way. It's not too late for you to change. But even if I do, nobody else will forgive me. Yes, they can. It's just much harder to forgive our friends than it is to forgive our enemies. I'm sure even my uncle can forgive you. But when all those kids insulted me at camp, all your uncle did was got, he got along with them. He never helped me or anything. He never reported them to the counselor. No, he didn't do anything like that. And I guess it is difficult to forgive him. Well, that wasn't very cash money of him. Yes, but you can't just let the past continue to hurt you. You can either run from it or learn from it. Seriously. You can't let what those kids said about you affect you for the rest of your life. It's always important to think about the people who care for you, even if it's from someone you don't even know. Sir, you can't beat yourself up over this. Those kids can't harm you forever. People can like you as you are. We are not perfect, but everyone deserves a second chance. You are never a real villain because you could be a real villain, because you have a heart, you need to learn to use it. Well, you know I never realized that there really are people in this world who really do care for me, but I was too stubborn and overstruck by evil and hatred to realize this. So, does this mean you'll come back? Yes, I will. And I will do better. Well, great! Please come! Alright. <laughs> Seriously? Right when he was about to change. You, you, I'm going to take a crab. <sighs> Don't you people know when to clean up after yourselves? I mean, seriously, there's a flush for a reason. Handyman Joe. What? Don't. Do you realize what you did? There was a person there. Oh well. Ah! <gasps> you mean he's. Apparently so. <sighs> what do we do now? Well, we still got a city to save. Man, 
I wonder where you put all those people who've been kidnapped. Beats me. Thank goodness you found us. Do you mind, Count? We're trying to look for the people that the Dark Slayer kidnapped. <laughs> they were under the bed the whole time? Wow. I'm proud of him. He's being original. Normally, they would put people in the closet. Well, what are we waiting for? Be free! Be free, citizens of Capital C! I could do without the shaking. Caffy! My sweet Caffy! My fluff. Thank you. Baby lamb! Uncle! Oh, it's so good to see you. How'd you pull it off? You saved Capital City. Well... Where's the Dark Slayer? Uh, wait until I get my stubby hands on him. The Dark Slayer is not here. Neither is his evil army. Really? Uh, what happened to him? Well, we learned that he wasn't really a villain. At all. He was just struggling to find his real purpose in life. He was trying to find himself. And I guess when we taught him that it's better to love yourself and to let go of the past, he got flushed down the toilet, and he's dead. <laughs> I don't worry, B. Lem. People don't die when getting flushed down the toilet. They just end up in the sewers. That's all. Sometimes it's hard to get out, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Hold it right there. We have you surrounded. Uh, I'll take it from here, Patricia. So, technically speaking, you guys were the ones that defeated the Dark Slayer, saved Capital City, and freed all of us? We didn't really defeat him, because there was nothing to defeat him for. He realized what he did was wrong. Well, in that case, by the power vested in me, by the state of whatever, I hereby declare these people the true heroes of Capital City. Mm. Show off. Baby Lamb and friends. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! I'm very proud of you. You could have taken the easy way and just, you know, solved this with violence, but Baby Lamb, your family raised you well. You learned that violence was never the answer. Said, you fought hate with love, and you saved us with love. Thank you. Thank you, Uncle. So, what's gonna happen to the Dark Slayer now? Well, I think maybe it's he deserves a visit from an old friend. I'll bring back. Why don't you guys help put this town back to the way it was before? Okay. Chief, I already told you, we're not construction workers! I don't care. Make sure that garage is as brand new as possible. Hey, bestest best friend! Oh, hey, Cal. So, how do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah, I mean, hello, the day saved by us. The Dark Slayer is no longer taking control. Everyone's freed. You might as well say that everything's back to normal. Back to normal? I don't know about that, Cal. What do you mean? I mean, would you even say that things are normal around here? I mean, come on. You do have a point. We never really pay attention to how weird things happen around here. I guess that's just how life is sometimes. Lots of weird things can happen, but you just gotta learn to roll with them. So if things aren't back to normal, then what are they back to? How about... random? So, things are back to random? Yeah, Cal. Things are back to random. And I wouldn't want that to ever change. <sighs> I always knew my life would go down the toilet. But this is not what I had in mind. Yo, Abraham. Oh, what do you want, Raphael? Come to mock me? I know, I messed up. 
Obviously, I had the wrong sense of purpose, and look where it led me to. Here, the freaking sewers. I know I probably should have just let go with the past, but I couldn't help it. Yeah, but you know, I should have been there for you when people were hurting you. I'm very sorry. I wasn't acting like a real friend myself. Our friends should stick together to the end. I realize now you're never a villain. You don't deserve to be called the Dark Slayer anymore. Everyone deserves a second chance. So, if we're gonna be friends again? <laughs> of course we are, dude. If you want. Yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way. Come on. Let's get out of here. Here's a song by a gay guy. <laughs> Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> I couldn't if I tried. Oh, honey, if I get restless, baby, you're not that kind. Don't go breaking my heart. You take the weight off of me. <laughs> oh, honey, when you knock on my door, Ooh, I gave you my key. An insult? Nobody knows it. Nobody knows it. Right from the start, I gave you my heart. Oh, 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 oh. I gave you my heart. <laughs> Don't go breaking my heart. Oh, I won't go breaking your heart. Don't go breaking. Nobody showed us. Now it's up to us, babe. Oh, I think we can make it. Oh, rock and roll. So don't misunderstand me. You put the light in my life. Oh, you put the spark to the flame. <laughs> I've got your heart in my sights. I wonder what this button does. Breaking your heart.
guys? Hello? I'm still stuck in the closet!